Wait, what's this about? It's about walking safely. Walking safely? Uh-huh. We already know how to do that. Pretty easy. Okay, so if you three were anywhere, you could walk safely? Sure. What about here? Hey! Or here? Whoa! Or here? That's not fair. I know. I was just kidding. We're not talking about that. We're talking about walking down the street and being safe. And there are certain things you need to know and do. Like what? Like walk, don't run to start with. And when you're walking near cars, don't start messing around and pushing other kids. Cause we might accidentally push them in front of a car? Yes, and you might end up in the street too and walk with an adult, a parent maybe. Or if you have one, an older brother or sister. I do that with my sister. She's in high school. Good. I don't need to, because I'm nine. Actually, you do. You should walk with an adult until you're 10. But if I have an adult, why do I need to learn these rules? Won't they know? They should, but you still need to know them. You won't always be nine. And when you're old enough to walk by yourself, you need to know how to walk safely. So you walk on the sidewalk. But what if there isn't a sidewalk? Then walk in the street? Well. Not exactly. Walk on the side of the street. And when you do that, always walk on the left side, facing traffic. But then cars are coming right at you. That's true, but then you can see them from a long way off. And if you need to, you can step to the side and get out of their way. If you walk on the right side, the cars come up behind you and you won't see them. And they may not be able to see you either. You could get hurt that way. Oh. If you can do it, it's better to walk on roads that aren't so busy, when there aren't so many cars going by. But no matter how many cars there are, you want to be sure you're not distracted while you're walking. Huh? Do you know what a distraction is? What? A distraction. What's that? Something that takes your attention away, like that game in your hand. Ow! If you're distracted when you're walking, you might not see something like a car backing out of a driveway. And they may not see you either, because drivers get distracted too. So they might not stop. You mean I might get hit? Yes. That's why you need to be paying attention. Stop when you come to a driveway or an alleyway and make sure a car isn't backing out or pulling in from the street. When you're sure no one's coming, then you can cross. Do the same thing if you're walking in a parking lot. Watch out for cars that are backing out or pulling into parking spaces. It's also a good idea to wear bright colors when you're out for a walk, even if you're just walking to school or the bus stop. Why? Because bright colors or shiny, reflective clothes make it easier for drivers to see you. If they don't see you, they won't know you're there and you might get hurt. Now let's talk about crossing the street. My turn. OK. Let's say you're in your neighborhood in the middle of the block and you need to cross the street. What's the first thing you do? Have my sister with me. Yes, cross with an adult or someone older like your sister. OK. The next thing is find the best place to cross. Your sister can help you do that. But what's a good place? It's some place where you can see cars coming and the drivers can see you. So stay away from things that might make you hard to see. You know, things like parked cars or big bushes or trash cans. Find a place where you can see the street really well in all directions. Then what? Then, stop at the edge of the street, look and listen for cars. Look both ways more than once. If there is something in your way, like a trash can, you'll need to stop and look again. When your sister is sure no cars are coming, she'll let you know. Together, you'll walk quickly straight across the street. Keep your head up and look both ways to make sure no one's coming until you get across. And hold the hand of the adult you're with. Do you know what an intersection is? Where one street crosses another street? Yeah, and crossing at a crosswalk or an intersection is a lot like what we just learned. Except there's cars coming from different directions and a stoplight. Sometimes. Not every intersection has a stoplight, but some of the ones that do will tell you when to walk and when not to walk. Walk looks like this. Don't walk looks like this. And remember, the light says walk. It doesn't say run. But whether it's a stoplight or a stop sign or just a crosswalk, you need to look in front and behind and left and right to make sure no cars are coming before you cross. Together, you'll walk straight across to the other side. So, how about it? Think you can walk safely now? Yeah, if there aren't any tigers. Good. Now, what would you say are the two most important things you learned today, besides stay away from tigers? Stay alert. And watch for cars? Yes, stay alert and watch for cars. Very good. Are we done? 
We're done. Walk safely. <laughs>